but it's very photogenic. Yeah, well, it's depending on if it's running or not. When Liz Blackburn shows you what's in her closet, you get an idea why she won the Nobel Prize. This is it. What? This is the world first. It's our baby. It's measuring 100,000 telomere lengths in 100,000 people. In other words, Liz's baby is using her discoveries to unlock the secrets of cancer and aging. The girl from Tasmania became curious about biology thanks to the other members in her household. The dog, the cat, the guinea pigs, the budgerigars, the canaries, the, <laughs> the chickens, I think that was it. But, you know, to me, it, it, oh, the goldfish. Those pets made Liz wonder how living things worked, and soon she had drawings of amino acids on her bedroom wall and the highest science scores in her state. By 1973, Liz was at ground zero in the Cambridge lab of Nobelist Fred Sanger as he discovered how to identify sequences of molecules in DNA. At graduation, Liz faced a crossroads, accept a fellowship at UCSF or follow her fiancé John to Yale love won out. At Yale, Liz studied cells of pond scum. In its chromosome, she identified the sequence of DNA at the very tip, called a telomere. Oddly, the sequence kept repeating. The way I do science is that I, I see patterns, and then I try to creatively dis discover what, what it is that is underlying that pattern. So now at Berkeley, Liz and collaborator Jack Shostak tried placing her telomeres in yeast cells. The telomeres worked in this organism too and kept its chromosomes from degrading. But now Liz wondered what kept telomeres themselves from degrading. She recruited her graduate student, Carol Greider, who's now at Johns Hopkins. They discovered that telomeres are replenished by a mystery enzyme, telomerase. People use the term outside the box, but she really thinks outside the outside the box um, and is willing to consider uh, many different uh, areas. Uh, and I think that was a, a great strength, uh, especially in proposing telomerase. Liz Blackburn had found the mechanism that protects cells from premature aging. Liz solved one of the fundamental problems um, uh, in, in genetics. Former UCSF Chancellor Mike Bishop is Liz's longtime friend and himself a Nobel laureate. To a scientist like myself, or I think to anyone who is interested in how the human body works and how our cells work, the fundamental discovery is stunning, absolutely stunning. In 1990, Liz joined UCSF, and today she applies her discoveries to major diseases and to the consequences when telomeres grow too short. The telomere shortness is strongly related to risks for a lot of the common diseases of aging, like cardiovascular disease and diabetes, even cancers. Now, uh, there are thousands of people uh, working in the telomere field, uh, trying to really uh, understand the medical relevance. Um, and that really grew out of uh, Liz's support of the field very early on. And she's been a fearless defender of science, notably on George W. Bush's Bioethics Council, when it tilted toward ideology, Liz argued for science and was dismissed. Five years later, Liz, along with her collaborators, received the Nobel Prize for her science. Not bad for a mom who's also been raising a son all these years. So, well, I used to play this for Ben when, when he was young. She chose science over a piano career and gave us discoveries and a role model for women and for men. She has all the qualities that those of us who, who want to be uh, great scientists and uh, without losing our humanity, uh, she has all the qualities uh, that, that we aspire to. And I think, you know, like everybody, I'm just wired to be excited about things that are new. She found great answers by asking great questions.